The FR community given me the hope and the incentive required to work for peace. Knowing that there are so many people in the world who have the same goal as I do. It takes the world to make peace there and so we have to all get together. The FOR gives me great hope to meet, especially the young people that are just out there making things happen. Like-minded people coming together and people of conscience coming together and trying to figure out how you can get justice for the most people is really something that FOR has been committed to. It's really a way of pushing society forward. FOR is always on the right side of history. The reason Fellowship of Reconciliation has lasted this long is that it's very malleable. It takes its core principles and applies it to the context of the times. FOR has always been attuned to what directions move people, whether it was the spirit or the politics or social understanding. Whether it's Vietnam, the civil rights movement, Ferguson, Iraq. It just shows you the universality of the principles, attaining peace and justice using nonviolent resistance. On August 9th, 2014, we entered into the age of Ferguson. But the age of Ferguson represented as part and parcel of a global struggle. It has presented an opportunity for the Fellowship of Reconciliation to engage in its historical work and be part and parcel of that rich tradition. My association with this Fellowship of Reconciliation goes back to almost 65 years. And I hope that this organization will remain for hundreds of more years because there's a lot of work needs to be done. We tend to work towards a lot of social actions and tend to forget about the principle of nonviolence. And I think FOR is probably the one organization that reminds us of that concept. Nonviolence is the most creative way to engage struggle. A nonviolent world is not a theory, but actually something that we can achieve. We have to look at our own act of violence and transform those acts into non-violence. We have to become the change that we wish to see in the world. The FOR has reached 100 years. I hope it reaches several hundred more and continues to guide the citizens of the world in living a committed and a compassionate lifestyle. I believe that more than anything else, it is love that has motivated and compelled hundreds of thousands of FOR members through the struggles, through the doubts, through the fatigue, through the setbacks, and through generations to continue persevering for peace. There's so much work to do in the next hundred years. The violence of war is supported by racism. It's supported by economic oppression. We have to work on creating real alternatives. I think it's really important that we stick around.